Is celebrating Valentine's Day a Jewish thing? Well, it's not a Jewish thing, Valentine's Day, no. <laughs> how, how are we celebrating it? By doing what? By sending flowers? I guess you're sending flowers to, to, to I mean, it's obviously if somebody that you're supposed to be having, a, you know. But, uh, sending flowers to your wife or yes. something or whatever. Chocolates. But chocolates. Well, it's a, it's a Jewish uh, idea, but the day itself is not a Jewish day for doing it, but a person uh, certainly should treat his wife very nicely and uh, send her flowers and give her chocolates. But the day of Valentine's Day in itself is not uh, a day, a Jewish day. The idea is a Jewish idea, which naturally everything is taken from the Jewish religion that comes from the Jewish religion, to be nice to people and to uh, treat your wife nicely, like we find uh, in the Chazal. Our rabbis and the Torah... So we treat our wife nicely only once a year? This would, or Eichmann, this would be appropriate. What's the, what was that? Are we supposed to treat our wife nicely only once a year? Once a year? One day. Oh, well, that's what we say Mother's and Father's Day. You know, my parents always say Mother's, Father's Day. Every day is Father's Day. Every day is Mother's Day. Every day is Wife Day. Not once a year. So you have to treat your nice wife nice all the time. If your wife is short and you're tall, bend over to her. Don't make her stand on tippy toes to talk to you. You're supposed to treat your wife nicely. Bend over. She shouldn't. She shouldn't have to uh, talk too loud or, or get up, send a chair to talk to you. Bend over to her. You're supposed to treat your wife very, wife very nicely all year, every day. Okay. Rabbi Reichman. As a matter of fact, I just remind myself of a story in the, in the Gemara, in the Talmud, that uh, the Gemara says that uh, uh, certain rabbi's wife was very mean to him. She didn't treat him nice at all. And, uh, and he was so nice to her. He used to always buy nice things. And uh, so his son asked him, how come, Daddy, your mom is so mean to you and you're so nice to her? So he said, well, the fact that she brings up the children and she's a wife to me, so that's good enough. I have to treat her nicely, even though she's so mean, she does right, but she's, she's still does some things good about it. So for the good things, I have to be nice to her. Therefore, I, he always, when he came home, he always brought her something, but in the store, something that she liked. I think where it says that uh, some kind of fruit, some kind of cake, and the son was a little bit uh, under, uh, baffled why he's being treated so nice. He said, but she has some nice things about her. So you have to concentrate, like I said before, Yosef, you concentrate on the, on the nice teeth. You don't look at the bad, look at the good. So the good things I get from her, that's worthwhile to be nice to her. That's even a, and a, a wife is not good, but a good wife, you know, you've really got to treat her nice. You know? Or a good husband, we have to treat good husband nicely too, by the way. Don't Who can I call?